How are your people, Rolo? Recovered and ready for what tonight holds? Gerhild's treachery was a blow. Few were surprised it came to that, only that her dark ways took such a brutal turn. Put that aside. We're ready now. What would you have of us? Wait for my signal. When I approach Estrid, that is your time. I am your axe, Eivor. Night will fall soon. Then is our moment to strike. Couldn't help but over here. To sacrifice John Barleycorn, so that his seed and the soul of the Kurdish well and grow shame in the mark of Alpha. Care for that fair gun pump. There is just one gun now, and he gives us everything we need in this life and the next. You Saxon dogs! The Lady of Essex is ours! Follow my lead! Take their hail and their women! We like kings tonight! The advancing! Coming with me! Oh, oh, desist, you foul Dane! Guards! Oh, woe unto me! Put me down! Old in spirit! You wouldn't fool a child with that howling! Unhand me, fiend! Unhand me, you filthy Dane! Wilson! My love! My love! Enough to walk, I think, aren't we? Oh, what a thrill! My heart is racing. Be glad it still beats at all. Your screaming drew half the guards in Colchester down upon us. I wanted to give a good performance. My father always said I was quite the actor. I won't deny your enthusiasm. Did you not have even a little fun? To steal away a princess, it did give a thrill. A woman fights bravely against her abductors. Yet, what will they do with me now? Is my virtue safe? It is done. And all that stands between me and my home now is a foaming ribbon of surf and silt. You did well, Rollo. You and your people. Are you ready to sail? Loki's hissing sun churns the waters between our coasts. We'll need time to rest as we wait for fairer weather. Have a care then. Alfred's soldiers will be looking for Estrid, even if beer stands will not. Now's not the time for such worries, A4. Tonight we celebrate. Let's get you some mead. Beerstan will meet you northeast of Colchester tomorrow. You have earned all my husband promised. 
and more. Come find me, if you like, away from these reveling Danes. I should find Pearson. No doubt he's hunting again. his dog, and the outdoors. What greater pleasure can there be than the... Beerston, Estrid said you'd be here. Eivor, dear heart, you who drew back the bow of Eros and reunited me with my one true love. Have your thanes asked why you do not look for Estrid? Pish. They have asked, yes. I said it was hopeless. Then I lay upon my couch, sobbing and wailing. A pretty show. That may not be enough. Tut, tut. The wind is soft upon our faces, and I am far from the whispering doors of Colchester. Come, let's hunt! What are we hunting now? Boar. A majestic animal, don't you think? Driven by a fierce fire, blazing eyes, and sword tusks. I once knew a strong armed shield maiden who rode a boar into battle. She named it Bristlebolt. How wondrously strange. Your tales are worthy of the hearing. We'll not ride our boars, but eat them. A feast in Alvida's honor. A feast for your mistress. Beerston, if this ruse falls apart, King Alfred will strip you of your title. Our alliance will be worthless. Have no fear, I shall be discreet. We will eat and sup at my hall with a few friends and family. It is there our friendship will be sealed. So soon after Lamas. Will people there not recognize me? No, you are just one more Dane. And in that chaos, who remembers anything but the screams of dear Estrid? These are your lands. I trust in your judgment. And how is Olvida? She is a firebrand. We have rekindled our love as if we were teenagers. Even Ellerich is a welcome addition. A younger brother to me, yet more alike to a son. The things I should like to teach him. Ah, this is the spot. The best boar here. Cast about this land, my friend.
my love well, Hog. A haunch worthy of her arrival. Come. I shall suck the scrumptious marrow from your hands, you porcine devil. <laughs> won't kill itself. A good hunt, Beerston. And enough for one day, I think. Even my thanes will not go hungry with this catch, and they are as voracious as wolves snatching at my carcass. They may give you grief, but I have been nothing but amused. They're a welcome change to worrying Jarls and piss-sudden politics. You have brought us all true happiness, Eivor. I thank you from the bottom of a heart full up with joy. Beerstan. The heart hound who sought his true love by searching the sad haven of his memory and finding her there. Beautifully said, my friend. Beautifully said. Come, Percy, you hapless hound. Barely a boar worried. I do not know why I keep you in my employ. What are your plans for Essex and your... Oh, Bearston. You promised we would never be apart. Not for one waking or sleeping moment. And already, you're sneaking out to hunt. Ha ha ha! For the feast, sweetly. We owe our mutual friend a great debt. One that I promised to repay over suckling pig and ale. Sister! Have you forgotten where you are? I have a right to happiness outreach. Or am I to play nursemaid forever, you ungrateful pup? Happiness, yes. But you embarrass yourself nightly, heaving and sweating with this hamhock. Hold your tongue, boy. Lest we both speak our truths. What truth have you to speak? That you've returned to this fickle man who abandoned you years ago for a Frankish pet? A woman he paid this dame to abduct in that lamish shadow play? Mind yourself, boy. Or that you let him sniff and paw you and take him to your bed on the promise of nothing? The whole of Essex whispers now. He's married still. His wife freshly stole him, and you are no more than... than his... I am the mother of his child, you whelp! Child? Alvida? Please, my boy, I... I... I will never forgive you for this. Never! <laughs> My lord, joyous news. God smiles upon us this very day. Estrid has been found by Alfred's men. They ride to her rescue as we speak. I will not let this plot be undone. 
Nothing is safe till they are away to Frankia. I will fix this, and one day I will call on you, and you will come. You can count on it, my friend. I wanted to tell you so many times. Hush, Angel. Do not. Estrid is so close to freedom. I hope I'm not too late. <sighs> Rolo! Alfred's men have found you! What? How can this be? Lork, stand by Estrid. Guard her with your life. If she's taken, all is lost for us and Beeston. Come, lady. It would not do for them to take you back. Watch out! Uh, Lark! Oh, no! Release the woman, Danes! If she's unharmed, we may let some of you live! Here oh, come the bastard! Protect Astrid! Prepare the ship! Ah! <laughs> 
Istrid, I promised I would free you of your life in Wessex. Frankia awaits your return. Go now, with Aegir's blessing. I will miss you, Eivor. When winter is past, summer will come, and wind you in a flowered skirt. For you are beauty, and shall not wither. Goddess Freya, give me more of that. Come, take care of her, Rollo Stoutheart. And if you find yourself on England's shores again, I will expect you in my hall. Good. They are safe. Birsten got his end of the bargain, and Esther is to Frankia. I should return to Ranley. In Essex, I played a matchmaker and a heartbreaker. An easy way to forge an alliance. But let us stick to war and diplomacy. Understood. Thank you, Eivor. <laughs> 